All right, guys, welcome back to the Blissful Athlete. We got another workout video for you guys today. Today, we're going live to do a cardio workout. This is something that I do when I don't have a ton of time, and I'm trying to come up with a little bit of excuse here and there why I shouldn't be doing it or why I don't have time to do cardio. You always have time. This exercise or this routine is going to show you just that. So if you're here, you clicked the thumbnail. You now know it's a 21-minute workout. You got to do it. And if you don't do it, at least just like put the window aside and put the volume down low and just let it play out because for everybody that keeps clicking just to see what I'm doing, you're destroying my views. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm going to set my alarm or set a timer here. If you're joining in, do your best to follow along as best you can. We're going to go for as many as we can. That I don't even know what I'm going to get to, personally. You don't even know what we're going to do yet. But pause the video if you need to. Get a yoga mat. Maybe get a towel. We're going to have a hard workout, but it's going to be a fun one. It's going to be, you're going to feel so good after it's done, all right? So with that, let's jump into it. Again, pause the video. Get ready. Jump back in to join me. Or if you're not going to do it, you're just going to watch. You're just going to be one of those people sitting on the side. At least let the video keep playing for me, okay? <laughs> and if you stayed all the way, let me know in the comments section, all right? So here we go. What we're doing is we're going to shoot for 200 sapates. I've already done a video on that, so I'll show a couple just for instructional purposes. But we're going to do as many as we can, basically. I don't know if I'm going to get to 21 minutes or if we're going to get to 200. I'm assuming we'll probably get to 200, but we'll see. Um, yeah, we'll have to find out, all right? So with that, pause the video if you need to. I'm going to jump into this, and we'll see you guys after we are done. That's a military helicopter. Whoa. That's the first time I've ever seen one actually like that close. Wow. Things are getting real out here in the world. No better time to focus on your own spiritual development than now. We're in a crazy, crazy time right now. Which is all the reason why we should always remember the context of yoga anything that we're doing when we move our body the purpose is to manifest the state space beings and express the powers and super consciousness of paramashiva the divine within you we are all the divine let's connect to that remember understand we're not moving our body right now to look good yes that's the side effect the intention the purpose why we're here is to manifest that being within us that is our sankalpa that we hold and before every yoga class you should be holding this sankalpa and what i'll do is i i don't always do it live on the live stream just because it's it can be a, a longer process for somebody that's new but i'll start to create some content so when you come here you can always at least check out a sankalpa uh the prayer and follow along with that okay or i might just actually just start incorporating it on the live streams too um, okay, though. So with that, we're going to get going. Uh, I haven't warmed up at all, so we'll make that a part of the process. Just a couple minutes of a warm-up. We'll start with Surya Namaskars from the top of your yoga mat, inhaling the arms up. I like to reach up as high as I can, really elongate my spine. I haven't been moving much today, like I said. I'll bring my hands together, and I'll just open up my chest. And that's enough right now. Then I'll exhale forward and down. I like to stay here for a second. Then I'll bring my hands down, full Uttanasana and step back. A nice deep lunge. Open up my hip flexors, open up my chest, step back. Knees, chest, chin, Chaturanga Dandasana. Then pushing yourself up into a tall cobra. I'm hearing a lot of back back cracks myself right now push ourselves up into rickshawson alternating the heels down bring the foot back forward nice deep lunge back to uttanasana and rise up 
palms together above the head. Namaskara Mudra, heart center. We'll do this a few more times. <sighs> Exhale down. <sighs> Stepping back. Open up the chest. Knees, chest, chin. Inhale up. Tall Bhujangasana. Pushing ourselves back. Rikshasan. Stretching out the calves as well. Stepping forward. Exhale. Uttanasana. Inhale. Tadasana. Palms together. Namaskar Mudra. Just two more times. Not trying to push it too much, just trying to get the blood flowing, the body moving. Step back, open up my chest, stretch out the hip flexor. Chaturanga Dandasana, pushing self up. Bhujangasana. Rikshasana. Inhale, foot forward. Exhale, Uttanasana. Inhale, arms up, hands together. Last time here. Oh, another good crack in the chest. Forehead down, step back. I'm already starting to feel good. If you've been tagging along, I'm sure you would be too. Especially when you do a lot of sitting. A little windy out here, so I hope everybody can hear me okay today, too. Just to get the legs moving a little bit. These are called sit-ups in English. <laughs> Uttamotanam in Sanskrit. We're not going to need too many of these because it's going to be a part of our workout. And last one. Shake out the legs. Sapate. So what we're going to be doing is you come down. Your hands come in between your knees. So your knees kind of spread out a little bit. Then from here, you bring your feet back and you're scooping down almost. And then you bring the feet back in and up. So down and up. Down and up. Okay? So again, just to break it down, knees bent, hands down. From here, you're bringing your chest down, stepping the legs back, scooping up, feet together. Or not together, but feet back towards the hands, standing up, okay? Not easy, especially when you do 200 of them. And we got just under 17 minutes now. I'm gonna grab a little sip of water. You can too if you'd like. I'm not sure how I'm going to break these up. I kind of go off feel. Sometimes lactic acid builds up in my legs a lot faster than other times. So I'm not going to put a number on just yet. See how I feel. Feel free to stop whenever you can. Go to around 75, 80% of your max. Then take a break. That's what I recommend. Okay, so don't go all the way until you can't move anymore. Try and find 75, 80% of your range, okay? So with that, we got 16 minutes. Here we go. Remember the purpose, the context. We're here, each movement, each time we're doing one repetition, we're embodying Parama Shiva. We're embracing that dimension of ourselves, that being within ourselves, expressing the powers of Parama Shiva. It's the whole context of yoga. Here we go.
10. 11. Five. Gonna take a break at 50. Deep breaths through the nose. It's really hard sometimes to not hunch over. Do your best to keep the chest up though and breathing through your nose. It's a lot easier when you don't talk though. Try and keep your legs moving. Avoid sitting down. Even after you're done this workout, avoid sitting down. Calm the breath. My legs are heavy. <sighs> Gotta work through that. <sighs> All right, here we go. That's 50 down and we're 12 minutes to go. Let's see how we do. Keep pushing, no matter where you're at. Do your best. <sighs> Paramashivata. Five. 
90, I'm gonna stop there. Deep breaths, who knows. Keep pushing. Don't need to stop just if I do. Rub it in, in fact. Let me know if you haven't stopped. Keep your legs moving when you do stop, though. Deep breaths through the nose. Control your breathing. Remind yourself you are not the body. We are beyond the body. That's why that's why we apply the outshot. I don't know if you could see it on my pasty white skin, but on the forehead and the arms. Aushida. The sacred ash. The buddhi. Remind us. When the body perishes, it's just the body that perishes, not me. I'm eternal. I am Paramashiva. All right, that's enough talk for me. We're at 90 and I got eight minutes to go. You know if you hit Century Club. Three, four. How many people are hitting Century Club out here? One, five. Keep moving, keep pushing yourself. Oh, enjoy that breeze. See what I'm doing right now? This is the habit you gotta get rid of. Chest up, keep the legs moving. Control your breathing through the nose. I'm at 125. Whew. Uh oh, under six minutes, 75 to go. I gotta get moving. I gotta crush our 25 here.
150. Old habits. Oh man. Keep the chest up. Keep moving around. Keep pushing yourself. Keep pushing yourself. We still got time. Just under four minutes. Fifty in four minutes. More like three and a half. Center yourself. Paramashivatva. I'm 50 out. Here we go. Forty more. Thirty more. Twenty-five. Oh. I got twenty more, and I got just over two minutes. Oh. Feeling it now. Breathe through your nose. Finish strong with me here. Chest up, come on. 20 more. Give yourself a target to hit. 10 at a time. Fifty-three seconds to spare. Oh! As soon as you're done, keep moving. Walk around. Keep your chest up. Don't stop moving your legs. Breathe through your nose. You guys got 20 seconds if you're still going. Keep pushing, keep pushing. Don't stop. How many can you get? Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. That's the sound of beauty, isn't it? <laughs> sound of beauty. When it's not 4 a.m., huh? Keep moving, chest up. Oh, yes. Feels good. Feel that when you breathe. You're done for the day. Feels good. Yes. 
Paramashivatva. You are Paramashiva. Rejoice in that. Celebrate that. Nicely done. All right, guys, if you stuck with me, nicely done. Let me know in the comment section how many you got. Whoever's, whoever's getting feedback, I'll design the next workout based off of your feedback, okay? So if you were here, you did the workout, give me your feedback. Let me know how you did, maybe what type of workout you want to see next, and we'll share it live, okay? Thank you to everybody that did tune in. Truly do appreciate it. If you are new to the channel, I highly recommend subscribing, obviously, <laughs> and hitting the bell icon. You'll get notified when we do go live for these, for these workouts, these yoga classes. I'm trying to move my legs still. They're seizing up. This is why you don't stop moving. The lactic acid will just sit still, just brew in the legs. Um, Yes, hit the bell icon, all that good stuff. My name is Sri Nithidrananda. I'm an ordained Nithinanda Yoga Acharya. I highly recommend attending our morning classes and performing the Pratama Vinyasa Krama, the 108 traditional asana sequence revealed by my guru, Bhagavan Sri Nithinanda Paramashivam. So powerful. If you want Kundalini Awakening, if you want true yoga, that is the main class to attend. That's every morning during Brahma Mahorta, 5 a.m. We're going live Pacific Standard Time. We'd love to see you there. With that, I need to sit up, get my legs moving. Make sure you guys do too. Make sure you drink enough water. If you feel free, you can do a little stretch. Um, loosen up the legs. Uh, we're not going to do that in this program today, though. Take care, everybody. As always, be blissful. Nothing on them. Oh.